In my video, Who's the Skeptic and Who's the Believer? I mentioned one of the Pentagon UFO videos that's been in the news called Go Fast. This infrared image appears to show an object traveling very fast over the surface of the water. The debunker Mick West used basic trigonometry to determine that the UFO wasn't near the water. It was at around 13,000 feet in altitude and traveling only about 40 knots. He calculated this by using the range data on the camera's display, which shows the distance to the object. So, the claim that it was going fast was apparently debunked. Then the other day, an ex-fighter pilot named Chris Leto claimed that the range measurement on those cameras is unreliable, so Mick's calculation should be thrown out. Okay, this range that comes up that Mick West says is like this, it's obviously at this range. It is not at that range, man. The jet doesn't know where this thing is. It is that is a guess. And so I'm going to prove easily. It's so easy to prove that Mick West is totally wrong. Is it true? Did the pilot debunk Mick West's debunking? I wanted to see what could be determined if we throw out the range data and use all of the other available data. I set about building a 3D model of the scenario in Blender. We know that the jet was maintaining a steady altitude of 25,000 feet, moving at a true airspeed of about 370 knots, which is this number adjusted for the altitude, as shown in an aviation calculator. For about 12 seconds, the plane was banking to the left. I animated a white bar against the horizon indicator and found that the average bank angle over this interval was 13.6 degrees. Using another aviation calculator, I found that the speed and bank angle meant that the jet was following a circle of radius 8.25 nautical miles. Over 12 seconds, this changed the heading by 8.57 degrees. So we know the flight path. We also know the angles that the camera was pointing toward. This number is the camera's downward tilt relative to the horizon and this shows how far the camera was pointing to the side, in this case to the left. Using these five numbers only, we can animate a sight line for the camera over the 12 second interval. So here is the result. The sight line pivots around a point at 11,750 feet. If the range data is accurate and the UFO was at 13,000 feet, this works out to a speed of 36 knots. We can then determine the speed of the object at any altitude. Of course, this still leaves open the possibility that it was moving fast over the water. But it does appear white in the infrared camera's black hot mode, suggesting it was much colder than the water, as the ambient air is at altitude. To simulate the original video and get a handle on the object's size, I put a camera on the jet in the model and locked it to the sight line. This indicates that the camera was in narrow mode with a zoom factor of 1, which means its field of view was 0.7 degrees. I also simulated the swells and smaller waves on the surface of the water. And this is the result of the camera simulation with the object at 13,000 feet and shrunk down to 3 feet in diameter. It's pretty close, but I noticed that the ocean surface in the background is moving slower through the frame than in the original. Changing the field of view to 0.5 degrees gets it closer, but then we have to shrink the object down to 2 feet in diameter. Once we factor in a little loss of resolution and a brightness adjustment, the simulation starts to look very close to the original. Regardless of altitude, the object was not large. I've confirmed that even neglecting the range data, the object at altitude would appear to go fast even though it was actually slow. There's no evidence it was powered or controlled, in which case it was probably about two feet in size and floating in the wind. Likely just a balloon that got loose from a party. Totally wrong. It is not a freaking goose or like a plastic bag or a weather balloon floating around and we know what we're talking about.